Hello guys, this is Paul Velos from Laravel Daily and from Quick Admin Panel Generator and this is exactly what I want to show you today. A demo project uh, that we used Quick Admin Panel uh, and on top of that we've created some customized stuff. So this is a dashboard for watching how many users logged in today, yesterday, in a, like 30 days and who didn't log in and also by months there is a chart, so some kind of dashboard for admin to see the activity. And it was partly generated uh, with Quick Admin Panel, but on top of that, we've created some custom stuff. So I will show you the code and how you can implement it in your project. First, how do you uh, save the logged in uh, fact? Because uh, users, a user's table doesn't have that login feature or login event. So you have to add manually login at or some kind of field like that. So I've done that already, and this is my PHP Storm, and how you can save that automatically is in your login controller. So controllers, auth, login controller, you have to override this function. So function authenticated, which comes from the trait, from the Laravel core, you can override that and do whatever you want here. So in my case, uh, whenever user is authenticated, I'm updating uh, their last login add to now. So this is part one, how I'm saving the data. And then for that demo project, I've generated some seeded data. So this is the seed database seeder uh, that comes from Quick Admin Panel. But what we need to look at is user stable seed. And I'm creating 100 users. An important bit here is factory for users. So user factory and this stuff. So I'm doing randomly last login add within 100 days from now or no, which means that user never logged in. And now we can go to our controller for the dashboard, which in this case is home controller, uh, in my case. And this is the code. Uh, this is not Quick Admin Panel anymore, so that's custom stuff. Uh, I'm just querying. Basically, when you have login at data, you can do whatever you want with that. In my case, I'm doing three blocks of numbers. So again, going back to the browser, so these three things on top uh, will be number blocks, which are identical, just with different data types, data sets, and different titles. So these three, then I'm doing two list blocks with, again, really similar, so these last logged in users and inactive users. Uh, and these are really similar also, but with different entries. Uh, and then the third part is a chart, which I will get back to a little later. And in the blade file, uh, again, it's pretty simple. So I'm doing for each number of blocks, I'm shooting the, showing the blocks. And that's the, the theme is admin LTE, so I don't need to touch any CSS. It's just basically we're using the bootstrap classes. And I'm showing title and number. For the list blocks, it's also pretty similar, just table. Yeah, without any data table or anything, just for each list blocks, I'm doing call MD6, which is like half of the page, and I'm showing those entries numbers. And you can customize that, customize that by the way, by just uh, changing this one. So take 15 users or 10 users or whatever. And by the way, this code will be available on GitHub. The link will be in YouTube description uh, on the video. And final thing I want to show here is the chart, which is this part is a part of Quick Admin Panel, or actually it's part of our package. We create a specific package for Laravel chart. I have a separate video on that demo. Again, I will link that in the description. But Laravel chart is a package, and on the top you can see use Laravel daily Laravel charts, and in Composer it exists as well. So um, it helps to generate the chart from Laravel. So this, I didn't touch any JavaScript, any, uh, although it does use chart.js under the hood, chart.js library. But basically there are some settings, so chart title, uh, I'm doing line chart, grouping by date, uh, by field, uh, period, month, and some more parameters. So I encourage you to watch that video about Laravel chart, how it works. But uh, basically, you're setting up everything in Laravel controller, and in the blade, uh, you need to do only two things: is render HTML. Uh, well, three things: render HTML, uh, render chart JS, and then render JS for that specific chart. Uh, and that's it. Well, these part, this can 
can be customized or hard coded, so that's not really necessary. Uh, and yeah, and the result of that is the dashboard like this one. So if I reseed the data, actually, let's try it out. So here I am in my terminal. Let's do artisan migrate fresh seed, and that will be new data, a new hundred users, and that takes a little time because it's randomizing the array. Okay, it's done, and now let's refresh the page. Maybe it will ask us to log in. Oh no, actually no. Uh, so yeah, the chart looks a little different. It's randomized a little differently. Different names and emails, user logged in, last 30 days, blah, blah, blah. So same thing with different data. So in this video, I've showed you how to create a dashboard, how to use Quick Admin Panel. You can generate that, how to use seeds, and how to, uh, how to save the login data for the user.